And it's important to me that you buy the merch. It really is. It is. It is important that all of you listening buy the merch. And I don't want to hear nothing. Inflation's going down. The price of gas is going down. I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to hear that your kid is sick. Your mother-in-law fell. The job's not what it used to be. The hours are getting crunched. The neighborhood's changing. The taxes are up. The water's brown. You got a pain in your lower back. I don't want to hear that you're vomiting and shitting more than you used to. That you wake up in the middle of the night shivering. I don't want to hear that you don't have anything to believe in and your kids hate you because you can't provide them with the style of life that their friends have. I don't want to hear that you can't get hard to fuck your wife because she's fat now because she's eating our poison food. I don't want to hear that you can only jerk off to women getting beaten on the internet because you resent your wife because she finished college and you didn't. I don't want to hear that you have three dogs and two of them need operations and you can't afford it and one of them's starting to smell. I don't want to hear that your father doesn't look you in the eye because he's ashamed of the man that you've become. I don't want to hear any of that. I want you to go buy this merch and I want you to wear it and all those problems are fucking minuscule when you're supporting a podcast you like, that you enjoy, mm-hmm. and people go, what is that? And you tell them, oh, it's a show I like. And they go, how's your wife? Go, well, let's talk about something that's beautiful. Let's talk about art. Let's talk about a couple of guys that sit in a room and do their hot takes every week that I like. I like it. I like it. It's my time. I sit in my car and I get high and I listen to it and I drink. And that bitch knows it's my time. She doesn't come out to see me. And if she did, man, I picture it. I picture her coming out on that front porch. I picture her going, stop listening to that fat fuck and raise your kids. And I said, I'll just fucking, I'll reverse right into that fat bitch. But she never comes outside. Because she's watching Gutsy. She's watching Hillary Clinton talk to a reverend about her very tough decision to stay married. And she's drinking wine in our back room and she can't even hear me. And I'm out there tinkering in the garage, tinkering, fixing it, finding it out. And the kids, they run by and I go, what are you doing? And they go, ah, yeah, oh, man. And they... They pay me no mind, they pay me no mind, and they pay me no mind, and that's okay. That's okay, because I got a po- I got a podcast that I like. I got a <laughs> podcast that I enjoy. I got two boys who talk the shit I like. I don't care what this family ends up doing. This family's not going to produce generations of wealth. It's not going to produce happy people. It will end. My kids may not have kids. And if they have kids, I worry even more about it. This will end. It will end in juvenile hall. It will end in small claims court. It will end in family court. It will end with addicts with four days of sobriety scraping the skin off their arms, trying not to fucking go to the 7-Eleven parking lot and buy another blue to just get them back to even. It'll end in a suburb of Schenectady, New York. It'll end in Schoharie County. It'll end in Albany in the back of a catering hall. It'll end bad. It'll end at a funeral we can't afford. It'll end going into the ground with a couple of bar buddies standing around checking their watches. It ends bad, but fuck it. I got a podcast today with a couple of boys that I like, <laughs> and they're talking about Hillary Clinton on the internet. And don't 
kid yourself, that means something to me because my family hates me and I have no money and I wish I was dead every minute of every day. But today... I got a podcast to listen to, and they just said there's merch. They actually just said there's going to be merch. (laughs) They said there's going to, and my wife's going to fight about it because we have an emergency only account. Like the last time we used it is when my son was accused of rape. He didn't do it. He was dating a woman, and she was taking liberties with the truth. And he was accused of rape, and we had to bail him out. This is before the no-bail law. But before the no-bail law, we had to bail my son out, who was accused of rape by his on-again, off-again girlfriend, who said he came over the house and had his way with her. And he assured us that he had not done that, but we had to bail him out. And we used the emergency fund. The other time we used it is when my car broke down. My wife was using my car. She's a server at a local rest stop. And she had to fix the car with the emergency fund. We've reserved it for those types of things. Son, son's problems and the wife needing to get to work. But I swear to God, if I don't get that merch... If I don't support this guy, yes, he has three houses. He deserves eight. He deserves eight. And I'll tell that to my wife, my fat wife, when she looks at me and goes, do you think he needs more? You don't know what he needs. He's not like us. (laughs) He's not like us. He was raised in a different time in a different place and this and this whore this whore will look at me and she'll go how dare you spend our fucking money on merch for this pig this fat pig and I'll say to her you know what that's it this ain't working And she's going to go, we don't have enough money for a divorce. I'm going to go, I'm not talking about a divorce. This ain't working anymore. None of it. Mm -hmm. The air, the water, the soil. I feel like I'm on an alien fucking planet. So I'm going to take my Tim Dillon show hoodie and I'm going to put it on. And I'm going to go out and I'm going to listen to Freebird in my truck one more time. And then I'm going to blow my brains out and drench that hoodie in blood. And I'm going to have you and the kids find me, you ungrateful, grating, and horrible shrew. I'm going to have you and the kids find me. And, And the next day, like clockwork, they slept through the gunshot because they were all fucked up (laughs) on their sleeping pills and their booze. But they walked outside. They didn't hear the old man. They didn't hear him tinkering in the garage. They didn't hear him. They didn't smell the morning cigarette. They just went up to the car. And they saw the blood splattered all over the front seat. The old man was dead. But he was in his favorite merch. He was in the merch of his favorite podcast and they buried him in it and they fought with the undertaker because you're not going to bury him in a bloody hoodie you go yes we are bury him in that bloody hoodie so my hope is that no matter where you are in your life you buy this merchandise because it is it is important and it is beautiful we put the time in Ben emailed the designer. I was on the email as well. I don't really check the emails, but I'm on it as well. Even if you're going to kill yourself in front of your family, as many, as I imagine many of you, I imagine 30% of the people who listen to the show are going to do exactly that. (laughs) Probably before New Year's, quite frankly. 
I just hope that you do it in the Tim Dillon Show merchandise because it is beautiful. Because there's, here's one thing. It's gutsy. You know who Hillary Clinton should have had on that show? Vince Foster's wife. I don't know if he was married. He probably was. We want to thank our friends at Gas Digital Studios. We want to thank... What's it, What's your name, the producer? Uh, Francis, right? Francis. Yes. We want to thank Francis. We want to thank all the moms and dads out there and all the families that are listening to this on their way to Freedom Fest. All the families out there in this great nation. You know, I'm, I'm humbled and inspired every day when I hear about the stories of the Medicare fraud and people that are taking advantage of others and people that are faking their own deaths. I, I'm so happy about I say to myself, you know, it's fucking, we're still fighting. We're still kicking. Mm -hmm. We're still kicking. And that's beautiful. But I think I've done a decent job selling the merch. And we're going to launch it soon, motherfuckers. You can sign up at TimDillonComedy.com at the bottom. How about you go and sign the fuck up at TimDillonComedy.com. You go sign up right now because I'll tell you right now, it's, a be it's really beautiful. We should do a tour of like four cities in upstate New York and just call it like Hell on Earth. The Hell on Earth tour. Mm -hmm. And we just do like Binghamton, Buffalo. Yes. Schenect it, it might be fun to just do a week like right by Halloween. Yes. And call it the Hell on Earth tour. It'd be great. I think we might do that. There's nothing better than that area in the like Halloween. It's, it's Halloween all year round. But. I like the Cheesecake Factory in Syracuse. I, I like those areas. Yeah, we went to that, right? Yeah, it was great. Yeah, it was good. Phenomenal. Yeah, it's good. All right, everybody. <laughs> Stay focused. <laughs>